morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, everyone, it's beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel, for the newcomers, my name is Didi, today again walking and talking on the beautiful beach here in Phuket, Thailand, I have four amazing Bitcoin charts, one chart is really showing you guys what is happening to Bitcoin right now, really cool chart, of course a trading tip, a travel tip, of course talking about life, and yes, also about the news, because there's really cool news about Thailand at the moment, now let's quickly jump into the charts to show you exactly what is happening because everyone wants to know 48k or below 40k where are we gonna go first I'm gonna show you with three amazing charts let's jump into them now BAM The first chart today guys is this four hour chart on this four hour chart we can see a buy signal appeared we can also see candles closing above that yellow stepping line we can see a massive amount of volume at that level here 42k level i mean and we can see it on top also there's this huge volume around at 46 7k level um, it's very cool to see now that again that bollinger band is really compressing we, we can see that the bollinger band is completely contracting into this very small area again when that happened every time in the past guys we will see a breakout look here it happened breakout was downwards here it happened there very compact bollinger band over here buy signal the breakout was to the upside so the question now is we can see again and that bollinger band is compressing are we going to break out to the top or are we going to go lower and in the next couple of charts i'm going to show you exactly where those targets are in the short term this is a short term chart guys so this chart is showing you guys yes the rsi on the bottom we can see that we are bottoming out we can also see that the Bitcoin 4-hour chart is moving in between um, these two lines in that gray area. So also there bottoming out, we should be returning now to the top area of 47k. The RSI on the bottom is saying, hey, we bottom out, we should be going up again. The candlestick patterns, if you look really close to it, we have a very long wick to the bottom, are also telling us on the 4-hour, hey, we should be going up again. So it's very cool to see the RSI payout, but also the pattern uh, in which Bitcoin is moving at the moment. And if you look at this chart, you can see that it's exactly in line. There is a lot of liquidations happening at 41.2K and there is a lot of liquidations happening at 44.2K. So the question is now, which of these levels are we going to find first? Are we first going to liquidate all the shorts at 44.2K and then come down to that 41.2K level to liquidate all the over leverage longs? Or are we going to first visit that 41.2k level and then afterwards go to that 44.2k level um, either way guys it's a beautiful chart to trade so if i were you i would definitely now be putting trades at those levels guys if we hit 44.2k i do believe then we will go and reverse back to the 41.2k if it is the other way around if you first hit 41.2k that would be a beautiful uh, start of a trade all the way up and back to the 44.2k guys so very beautiful chart now here we can zoom out a little bit more we can see that there is always bull and bear markets the green areas are the bull markets and the red areas are the bear markets guys and the realest price is that yellow line in the middle the black line is of course the bitcoin price now we can see that in 2022 we had a bear market and after the bear market we can also see that the price moved again above that yellow line above the real life price and that the bull market started so we are already in this bull market the bull market is going to go way higher than of course the level that we are at the moment the halving is going to take place liquidity is coming in from the spot ETS I believe we will reach a new all-time high this year so somewhere September October I believe we will be above 70k very cool zoomed out simplified chart now then we have this chart that's even showing you better how it looks at the moment 2016 completely on the left we can see that first peak after breaking that bear market resistance line you see what happened after that first peak we blew up now we look at the middle part of the chart 2020 do you see that bear market resistance line when we broke it we had a first peak what happened after that first peak we went massively up now 2024 four years later again 2016 plus 4 2020 plus 4 2024 after breaking that bear market resistance line 
we have the first peak now. And this is just the first peak. We can also see that after the first peak in 2016, we had a small pullback, 20% correction, maybe even 30%. In 2020, after the first peak, also a correction, a pullback. Now, the first peak just happened. Will we first have this short pullback and then have that massive explosion to the upside? That is what most people expect. That's why a lot of people are saying to you, we could drop below 40K to like, for example, 38K levels, because that would be a pullback from 49K to 38K of 10K, which is almost like 25%. So that's a beautiful correction on the charts before we will go into that massive run. So my advice to you would be, if we see that correction, that is the moment, the last moment before this massive bull run will start. And that would be, of course, the perfect moment for you to go all in, guys. Amazing chart. Thank you, Stock Money Lizards, for creating this beautiful chart. I hope you really enjoyed the chart, guys. Yes, especially that liquidity chart. You can see exactly where the liquidations are. And those liquidations are around 40K level, 41K, and the 44K level. We will hit both of these levels, in my honest opinion. I believe we will first go up to liquidate all those people at that 44K level and then maybe come one more time down to liquidate all those people at that 41K level. That is just how the chart moves. And we are just after this massive run of Bitcoin of a few hundred percent. It is not bad to have a pullback, go sideways for some time, let the altcoins come up, and then again run with Bitcoin. And there is many movements on the chart at the moment, which is very beautiful if you're a trader, because you can trade that volatility, guys, of course. Now, let's quickly jump into the trading tip. The trading tip for today is never over trade. Sometimes it's good to take a pause. If your indicators or your charts are not signaling a long or a short, don't trade, just pause wait for the confirmations of your signals if you trade conform a certain system then keep to that system and if that system is telling you not to go long or not to go short then take a break don't over trade over trading will only lead to loss sometimes it's very good to take a pause now that was the trading tip for today let's jump into the travel tip The travel tip for today, guys, is that you always need to visit all the local markets. I know not everyone loves markets, but if you go to Asian countries, go to the local market. It can be a local night market, it can be a day market. I prefer the night markets because of all the vibes and the lights and all that stuff. But the local markets showcase the local food, showcase the local clothing, showcase the local um, handcrafts and all that stuff, guys. So the local market is a very beautiful place to see the culture of a country. And yes, there's always amazing street food on these local markets. And that's how you get used to these beautiful street foods from a country. If you go to a local market in Thailand, you will see the strangest things. Like for example, I went to the huge market in Bangkok. Man, you can see bats of a meter big. You can see snakes, you can see monkeys, you can see the strangest things that you have ever seen in a market. You will see them in Thailand. And yes, I know I'm not like for people locking up bats and all that stuff in cages, but every culture has its own rules. And I am here visiting this country, so I need to accept the rules of that culture. And if they want to sell little birds in little cages because it brings them luck, they will be selling them with or without me. So yes, I just need to accept those rules of that country and enjoy the beautiful vibe on those markets, whatever it might be, guys. Here in Bangtao area, we have a local market on every Friday. There's always musicians playing, like young kids playing good music. There's always very nice food, you know, even beautiful brownies and these beautiful space cakes, as we call them in the Netherlands, like that's a cake with wheat, are being sold on these local markets. Beautiful place to visit. Every time when you go to a new country, please visit the local market. You also support the local people if you buy some goods, of course. That was the travel tip for today. 
Which brings me to the question of a follower, guys. The question of a follower was, really yesterday you told me that if you rent houses in foreign countries, you use Bitcoin, and you always convince the people um, to use some kind of an app, you know, to accept Bitcoin that they can exchange into a local currency. So that all depends on every country. For example, in Mexico, I found out there is an app called Bitso, not Bitsa, but Bitso, that those local people use. If I send Bitcoins to Bitso, it can even automatically convert it into their local currency there. Every country has such an app. Here in Thailand, I always tell them, open a BitCup account, but soon I will be telling them something new, but I will talk about that in the news. And then when I send Bitcoins to the BitCup account, they can automatically convert it into Thai Baht on their bank account in a split of a second. So every country has their own app or a change that you should be like explaining to um, the people in that country where you want to rent from. So you just need to do a little bit of research. When you go to the Netherlands, research which app can they use there. In Germany, which app can they use there. Every country has their own apps or depths. So you just need to educate yourself a little bit, which is always good. And then you can educate also, of course, uh, the landowner. So that's the answer on the question of one of the followers, guys. Let's jump into the next part. The next part is the news, guys. And the news today is about Thailand because I just explained to you how I educate people on to start accept, for example, Bitcoin for whatever service they might give. Now, the beautiful part is in Thailand, since today, Binance is life. So the most famous exchange here in Thailand is BitCoop. But now Binance, after like eight months ago, they announced they would go live. They went live in Thailand and they start to serve Thai people. So from Today, Thai people can start to use Binance. And that's a very big step for Thailand because Binance is one of the biggest exchanges, but also a very strange step if you look at the world. Binance is by now forbidden in the Netherlands. Binance is by now forbidden in the United States. Binance is now forbidden in most of these Western countries that want to like do this World Economic Forum shit show. You know, they support that shit show. So Binance is being disabled in all those Western countries. And here in Thailand, in Asia, they are like welcoming Binance. Don't you think that is really strange? Don't you think we live in a real fucked up world when it comes to making decisions about your own finance? Shouldn't I, as a Dutch person, for example, just be able to choose what the fuck I want to do with my own Bitcoins or money? Why are they pampering us? Why do they think we are retards that can't think for ourselves? Why do they want to decide on which exchange we will be able to trade? I still don't grasp that whole concept and I fucking hate it. Who do these governments think that they are? We chose you as our leaders. You should do what we want. You're not a dictatorship. It feels like all the world is turning in these small like communistic dictatorships where there's politicians where they determine what is good for us and what is bad for us. We can do that ourselves. We don't need you to pamper us and to tell us what is good or bad for us. And that is why I'm always such a fighter for Bitcoin. Because Bitcoin and blockchain, those tools, can lead to peaceful anarchy. And a state of peaceful anarchy is a country, for example, where people really get to decide how they want to live themselves. Not like an elite group of people called politicians that think that they know best for the people or the country. That's stupid. Let us decide what we want to do with our money. And how can you now, after so many years, for example, start to tell us, ah, no, Binance is not safe. What? It's the biggest exchange of the world. And now we are not allowed anymore to trade on Binance? Don't you think this is like really strange? We should be able to trade where we want. The United States people should be able to trade where we want. The Dutch people should be able to trade where they want. English, German, all of those people. Like Binance is even like forbidden, I think, in the UK. What the fuck? This is like unbelievable, guys. I met a guy yesterday from the UK. He visited me and he gave me a very beautiful present. I promised him that I would wear the present today. I didn't. I completely forgot. I just now remembered. He gave me really cool Bitcoin shorts. 
So tomorrow in the video, I will wear the Bitcoin shorts, Tim. Thank you for the present. And of course, also thank you for that bottle of whiskey. Yes, I always meet up with people when they text me for a DM and like, hey Didi, I'm in Thailand. I've been following you for some time or whatever it is. You know, I want to ask you some questions. Can we have a drink? I always want to make time to meet new people because I love meeting new people. But that's a complete new story, guys. So the news for today is in Thailand, people are able to start to use Binance while well, the whole Western society starts to say no to Binance. Strange news, but I like it. That's why I'm in Thailand. Let's jump now into the next part. The last part of the video, guys, is uh, of course some life story or life advice, however you want to call it. I don't want to pretend to be a guru. I just want to share my opinion on life, guys. And it is that like, People ask me, do you have a perfect life? Of course I don't have a perfect life. We all have our problems. But it's not about what happens to you. It's always about how you act afterwards. So a shit of things can happen to me in my life as well. And they are not all beautiful. But I tend to respond always in a very positive way after that thing that happened. I just don't focus on the negativity if it is something negative. I just focus on what I do after that as a reaction. And that reaction will always be positive for me. That's the most simple way to not fall in this negative circle, you know? The negative cycle of going downwards, bam, 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 bam. The negativity, say no to negativity. Say yes to positivity. Whatever it is that happens to you, just treat it as something positive. As a life lesson, or however you want to name it, but just see it as something that is making you better, not making you worse. And I know a lot of people might say, yeah, it's easy talking. If you don't need to run the hamster wheel every day, and if you don't have a job and your kids to school and all that, yeah, that's way more easy talking uh, for you, Didi, than for us. If that is the truth, then fucking change. Then fucking change. So if you know it's more easy or more simple for me, because I don't live that stressed life anymore, why are you living the non stressed life if you also want to be living a non stressed life? Change. If that is a step you want to take, you should be taking it. You should not only be talking about it and dreaming it and visualizing and manifesting it, you should also be taking it. So it's very simple. In life, you never know what happens. A shitload of things might happen to you. It will not always be positive. And but when it will be negative, you just turn it positive. You just treat it as something positive, as a life lesson, for example. That happening taught me this. And now, bam, gone and move on. That's how simple it is. Yes, in life, we will all have our ups and downs. It won't be always beautiful times. There also will be bad times. But let those bad times be a lesson or a moment to change your life completely into that new positivity life that you want to live because positive people attract positive people the more positive you get the more positive people will come on your path the more positive people will come on your path the more your life will change into this beautiful positive life where you can just neglect all those naysayers all those ne all those negative people all those people that are pulling you back into that system say no to that just block those people and those situations and those activities out of your life. Just start to embrace all those positive people, positive situations, attract all that positivity into your life. Block all the negative stuff and accept all the positive stuff and your life will slowly change, guys. That was everything for today. I hope you really uh, enjoyed today's video again. Let me know again about the sound because today, again, I filmed uh, with the beautiful DJI Pocket Pro, but also now again with the Rhodes mic instead of the DJI mic. Let me know if the stereo sound is better now, but also what you think about the quality of this sound of the Rhodes, because then I will keep filming with this one instead of the DJI, guys. Uh, I want to thank you for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please give the video a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment. Yes, I know there were no booty on the beach today. Maybe I was too late or something, I don't know. Or maybe I was too early, but it was not a Bitcoin booty beach day maybe next time you will be more lucky guys uh, but thanks for watching i wish you an amazing day hopefully see you tomorrow again 